So I'm wondering how you see the connections between like mentorship and teaching um, and education and how like mentorship, mentorship might be a sort of essential part of knowledge building because they're mm -hmm. so tied in your work. Right. So excellent question. So I don't think we grow and we develop without mentors. And I think mentors have to understand the work you're doing is only built on what was done for you. So you're not some dominating individual who's doing something that can't be done. No, somebody blessed you, somebody taught you, somebody walked you through it. And when each of us, right, has a skill, a gift or an ability in some capacity, we are required to mentor someone. And it doesn't have to be high degree. It doesn't have to be a uh, college level. It can be in a skill or a task that that person was deficient in. And we give them the confidence, one, to know they can do it. And then we give them the competence by illustrating what needs to be done on how to do it. And I think the last piece is showing a concern or commitment to that individual will move them. Because what I found is is society beats people up and people's self value is oftentimes in the basement, I say. And part of us nurturing and mentoring and developing and helping helps to resurrect that and make people feel good about themselves and be able to move through whatever they're dealing with to be able to move to where they're, wherever they're going to. So mentorship is absolutely essential. I am who I am by great mentors. People who did not wear the label but simply illustrated to me the behavior and I understood it, I valued it and I emulated. If we can do that in our communities, in our schools, in the environments we're in, we can shape ambassadors for change.